Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I draw a realistic eye digitally. Now this is just how I do it, I am not a professional, there are probably a lot better ways to do this. But this is from a beginner's point of view, I am relatively new to digital art, it's not something that I've been doing for a long time or a lot. So this is just how I do it and if it works for you, good. If it doesn't, then you know what doesn't work for you. And I always start with the very outline when I do anything that has to do with drawing. And then I work my way in to the middle, which is what you see in this video. And the photographer of my reference picture that you see up in the corner is Tim S Savage. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I will write it on the screen. And of course, I'll link the picture in the description down below. I I love the picture. It's a beautiful picture. It's I cropped it so you could only see the ear because I didn't feel like you needed to see the whole person when it's the ear I'm focusing on. So throughout this video, I am erasing a little bit if some of the dark shadows gets where all the light areas are and vice versa but I did cut that out just because I felt like the video would be way too long if I had left it in so but you are gonna notice when I have been erasing because the lines are gonna be more crisp than they were before As you can see, the earlobe is way too big on my drawing than in the reference picture. So right now I'm just drawing it smaller, but I I end up not liking that either. So I I just erase the whole earlobe and I draw it in differently, the way that it looks in or as close as I can in the reference picture. And then I am just fixing the ear because I felt like it was a little bit too wide. And then I am putting the opacity down so I can color it in. And you want to make sure that the layer with color are underneath the layer with the sketch so you can see the sketch through. And then I just copy the layer with the color and I make sure to lock it so I'm not shading on the white areas but only on the ear. I'm starting off with a darker tone of the base tone that I have used. It's on the more orange side and I'm just putting this everywhere that needs shading um, and then I'm gonna add the darker shades later on. This is just the very base of my shading. Just going in with a slightly darker color just to deepen up that base 
shading a little bit more. And if you look at the reference picture, you will notice that it has a lot of dark shadows in it, which is why I chose this specific reference, because it would acquire a little bit more shading than normal, just to kind of give that as an example. And you can just stop throughout the video when it's at a point of your own picture. And now I'm just going in with a blending tool just to blend the shadows out a bit. I'm not going to blend them out completely because that way it's not going to look realistic. It's not going to have any texture to it, which is what I want. So I am just lightly going to blend them together so there are no harsh edges. Right here I am taking a little red, uh, reddish orange because in the picture it has some red hues up on the top and then I decided to put some here inside of the ear just to make it a little bit more warm toned. Here I went down to the layer underneath with my base shading because I noticed that I missed a detail in the ear. And now I'm just blending it out a bit so it's not so harsh. go back to the layer I was on before and I'm just blending in that red and on a new layer I am now going in with the brown shades. I am starting off with a medium brown and I'm gonna go in with an even darker later because it has such a dark shadow that I really want to make sure to capture that. You want to make sure that you make the dark areas darker than the rest of the ear to really show that it has more depth and it makes it look less flat and gives it more dimension and contrast. And now I'm just going in and blending that out as well.
gotten majority of the shading done, I decided to remove my sketch layer because I don't want that in a realistic drawing. And right now I'm just putting in some highlights all around the edges of the darker shades just to kind of empathize that these spots are higher and more towards you than the dark areas. And I'm just blending it out. As you just noticed, I erased the light parts from the dark. So right now I am just erasing some of that dark shadow on the right side of the ear because I felt like it was way too big uh, in comparison to the reference because in the reference it's not a very wide dark area on the right side of the ear. And then I'm just going in and softening the edges a little bit, not a lot, just so it's not a harsh line. And now I'm going in with that really, really dark brown just to darken up the inside of the ear a bit more. And right now I am just going in with some of the first shading colors that I used just to not deepen it up a lot, but just give it a little bit more dimension. Once again, I'm going in and blending it. Again, I'm not blending it out completely. I still want some textures to show through because your skin are not 100% smooth. It has texture. I am now putting in a little lighter color than the base color that I used in the very beginning and just putting it around the edges just to show that these parts are higher than the dark areas, just to kind of highlight them.
just going in and blending that out and afterwards I'm gonna erase any little bit that might have gone on to the shadows and that will be it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And comment down below what you think I could do better and what you liked about the video. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel to watch my future videos. That would be awesome and I will see you next time. Bye!